گزرے شوق سے اپنے سر میں تو لے لوں دیوانوں کی ہر سزا آہیں میں بھر لوں ستاتی کیوں Pakistani singer-songwriter who is very happy that I've finished three videos in two days and I'm just glad to know that like this part of my life has been documented somehow you know I had a lot of fun with some great musicians I met who are chilling back there right now I've been in Canada overall for about six years now Montreal only Montreal is great there's a lot of culture here you learn a lot. There's so much music. Yeah, let's just do the drums first. Let's okay, just, sure. I don't care what tune you play. Okay. I just have the so set you, up for that first. You want to record first and then on top of that? No, Maybe I just want to get the, the, get the mic done. Music, okay. everything that's music gets done today. Okay, it's gotcha. not done today, it's not on. Tomorrow, the first thing we'll do is we'll come in and cut your acoustic guitar <laughs> and then we'll start cutting all your vocals okay. and, then we'll, and then we'll mix it. Okay. But, I'm not doing the album thing, I'm not doing the label thing. I'm very happy being an independent artist who will do his shit the way he has to do it, you know, with what he can make work or whatever, because things are way too slow in that whole business, especially in Pakistan, like, trust me on this one. Um, so I'm just, I'm just gonna make songs. I'm just gonna make songs and after <laughs> these videos, maybe make some more videos, just do shows, live shows. I love performing live, that's essentially what I like doing the most, you know. That's it, like, just keep it the good fight. <laughs> keep up the good fight. Yeah, the songs were great, I had fun recording them, I had fun making the videos, I had fun just like surviving all of it, you know. The last time I did this was in Karachi, like a TV channel, and right now I'm doing it in my house in Montreal, which is like weird. I don't even know if, you know, I will try and get it back to Pakistan, and of course that is the plan, you know, they should see what's happening, I guess. Um, Songs were important to me, for sure, which is why I'm doing all of this. Uh, and I had just hope at some point someone will care. YouTube that shit. <laughs> Yeah, as long as the other guys can play as well as you play guitar, the, yeah, the beds the will go are, fast. Yeah, the basement is phenomenal. You know what I mean? Like, for the like from what you played me, it shouldn't take more than two, three takes each guy to play through a tune. Uh, he's a very versatile artist. He's not going to be confined to any particular person ever. Um, he'll do his thing no matter what. I mean, one of the greatest things I've ever heard from him say is that, you know, big or not, he'll always do the small shows. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, that was actually something I was, probably the only thing I really, really, not the only thing, that would be mean, but uh, one of the biggest things he ever said, which is really inspiring. I was like, that's great, you know. Just because even if you become big, that doesn't mean you don't do the cafe shows that are free to the public. Yeah, the nylon we're gonna have to do today, because that guy won't be able to make it. Okay, so it'll be the last thing we do then, okay. because we have to tear, the drums have to get torn down. Okay. So it doesn't matter. I can just cut out that bar and slide it over. Okay. But if the bass player is playing, he's like, well, what are you doing? It just, yeah, yeah. Well, for sure, just yeah. when, when okay. you're doing a session like this, just yeah. do everybody separate. And you, you're the, you're the big chief. So you know the arrangement, yeah. you know how, you know, if you want the drums to, if you want them to pick it up a lot harder for a part, okay, yeah. You guide everything yeah, through, cause, yeah. cause you got the okay. you got the vision of where got, you want it to go. Groove, yeah, that's why I yeah. was thinking of doing it myself. But uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's, 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 no it's uh, but my childhood, for first four years was actually actually in Kuwait. It wasn't even in Pakistan. Then the rest of it was in Pakistan for sure. I've been in Pakistan for like over like 19 years, 
And yeah, Pakistan is a trip for sure. <laughs> it's my home. But so is Montreal. It's another kind of trip altogether. I come from an artist family. Uh, my parents are both performing artists. They've been doing it for over 15 years now. And um, I know the lifestyle, whether I choose to be in it or not, at times it's, you know, I, it's, it's like an unavoidable lifestyle at, at some level. But I enjoy it, of course, you know, which is why I, I do what I do. I love doing what I do. And I will continue doing what I do. I know that now. After two days of like crazy <laughs> video shoots. What's up with videos, man? But anyway, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Hello? What's up? Where are you? Hey, Lori will do anything it takes. I mean, I, there's no doubt in my mind that he'll make it. Uh, you know, whatever, whatever it takes, he'll do it. And, uh, you know, I think, I think he, as he said, you know, he, he's constantly changing. And, uh, you know, what he has now is great and it's, uh, it's only going to get better. So yeah, it's been about seven years since I've been actively writing and pretty much documenting, you know, things I feel in terms of song. I don't have a specific creative process. I wish I was a more disciplined songwriter. I really do, you know. I think that's, that's something I learned here. You know, people are so dedicated here when it comes to music. You know, I'm, I'm not dedicated, but I know that I know how to make an inspiration work. Let's just say that I've been doing that for enough time to know when to convert inspiration into a song for whatever that's worth like the song might be shit like you know I don't know but like you know but I know I can convert inspiration into song when I need to Two, three four you're way too fast you're way too fast so fast yeah more in there Go Bucky's no I'm just <laughs> All right. It's called Kale, it's about having a good time. I hope everyone's having a good time. Versatile in terms of what I'm feeling because I feel that the, the more the different aspects of myself I bring out, the more, more fun songs there will be. Like, you know, like obviously you can't stick to a, you know, a specific frame of mind, you know, which is what I try to do with these songs for sure. Love in Urdu they say is la hasil. La hasil means. Uh, so something that's unobtainable. I think to be in a constant state of love, you have to pine and want at all times. You know, something that you get and you achieve can never be love. This is getting personal, man. What's up with this? <laughs> no. Of course, love is, love is the bomb, man. You gotta always write about love. It's the easiest thing to write about because it's what people feel, man. I don't know how much love we feel at all times. It's a hard thing to do, to be in love at all times. But I think it's a good thing to aim for, you know.
thought about this and I, 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 I'm ambitious about the music for sure, but I'm not ambitious about getting things done in a particular way. As long as they get done and I'm having fun and people around are having fun, it's okay. I believe change is the es essence of true art that I strongly believe. Yeah. Like it's the other way around, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do some bass and guitars and stuff pretty soon. I'm fine with this, I got plenty. Having a lot of fun here, having a lot of fun. I got this thing, stress, if you wanna do another, another one, we can do another one. It's crazy. If you wanna do another Every, one. Everyone hates change. It's, uh, you know, the, the, this is a fact. Like, you know, if, if people liked change, things won't be, you know, as chaotic as they are, you know. But like to really get into that change, that is the essence of true art. That's the only way you will always be true to your art, I feel. Uh, Lodi, the artist, he's a forever searching artist. I don't think he'll ever be happy, but that, it's a good thing. The less you're happy, the more you want to improve. And I think he improves with each, each oh, yeah. step. I mean, you hear his stuff in the beginning, which you can say about everyone, but Lodi, you see a real, real step up in everything he does. And he does everything at heart, so you know it's all pure. Best quality that Imran has with regard to music um, is the fact that he lives life as if it's his dream and then every day is a new day. Never really thinking two months ahead, unless he's got a studio date two months ahead. But, uh, you know, never, no long term plans. Just doing what he's got to do. Or, like, you know, I spoke to. Uh, my man, Jamie, my man, Usman, and they're like, two, two days, you're gonna do four songs? I'm like, yeah, I, I didn't think it was that gonna be that big a deal, you know? But I think from their perspective, they were saying, you know, it was quite ambitious, you know? So it was stressful, but it was a lot of fun. I'm glad we did it. And, and at, at this rate, I'm, I'm ready to go into the studio again. One day, I'm gonna flat out do another th three, four songs. You can write my, you know, mark my word for this, for sure. I think, uh, I think you can best describe Lodi with an example. We were playing uh, a cover of Lithium, and uh, you know, it's just a really intense song. And uh, we, we were both playing it, you know, we were rocking out. He, uh, he just starts jumping up and down and screaming into the microphone. He tears his shirt off, not, not because he was trying to be a rock star, just because he, he was so into the song and it's such a like, powerful, like, intense, crazy song. He just got so into it. That's Lodi. I've been in the studio since I was like five, six. My parents have done over eight albums now. And I, I remember there are times when I would fall asleep in studios and everything, you know, studios were definitely like a second home to me. I've been in studios a lot. No, again, that's the good thing with Lodi. There's no instruction, there's no rule. It's all about having fun and do whatever you want. It's a free for all. So when you've been told you can pretty much do whatever you want, it makes you more relaxed and makes you enjoy it a little more. Videos, I really, um, I did two videos last year and I enjoyed the creative process a lot. And I wanted to get more into that kind of creative process because it's um, it's sad, but uh, the truth is music is getting a lot more visual than it used to be. I mean, you know, with the speed of the internet and everything, there's so much stuff going out there. Your 
most people will definitely watch their music a lot more than they will listen to it. You know, it's just how it is, you know. Oh wow, it was crazy man, like it, it, was, it was so much fun. I burnt my guitar, I burnt my guitar. It was so cool, it was so much fun. It was just not burning though, but like, you know, it was fun, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, like just, just watch the videos, watch the videos. Yeah. And keep going, don't ever stop. I'll <laughs> 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 <laughs>